How's it going Monday? About 4 30 in the afternoon, May 15th, 2023. Career slugging percentage. Who is number one in the Baseball Hall of Fame for career slugging percentage? Babe Ruth, 690. He had a high of 847. And he had another season where he slugged 846. He had two 800 slugging percentage seasons. Babe Ruth. Who else in the Baseball Hall of Fame have slugged over 800 for a season? Nobody else. Only Babe Ruth. Who in the history of baseball players have slugged over 800? I've got it here on my list. According to baseball reference, Josh Gibson slugged 974 in one season. So I'm going to look up his season where he slugged 974. It was only in 39 games. We can't count that. You got to have 100 games a minimum. Don't you don't you agree? Who else? Mule Suttles, Negro Leagues. He slugged 877. And he did it in eight, nine, 89 games. A little better. But still, I need a 100 game minimum. Don't you agree? The slugging? Charlie Smith. Negro Leagues. Gibson, Suttles, and Smith played in the Negro Leagues. He slugged. 870 in 66 games. Doesn't count to me. Josh Gibson, 867. Ah, let's look at Gibson. He had a 974 and an 867. Sixty-nine games doesn't count. These are the other guys that have slugged over eight hundred. So Babe Ruth, so far in the Baseball Hall of Fame, slugged over eight hundred two times. Anybody else? Barry Bonds, not in the Hall of Fame. He slugged two thousand one, hundred and fifty-three games. He slugged 863. That's a good year. So I found someone else in baseball history who played over 100 games who had a slugging percentage over 800, and it's Barry Bonds, 863. And 2004, in 147 games, he slugged 812. So two 800 slugging seasons for Barry Bones and two for Babe Ruth. And that's all I could find with a minimum of over 100 games played. Only two players. And one of them is not in the Hall of Fame. Career slugging. The highest I've got it here. Career. Slugging percentage. It means your whole career. You gotta have a minimum of at least, wouldn't you say, thousand games? Babe Ruth is number one career, six ninety. Who's number two career? Ted Williams, six thirty four. And Williams' high was 755. Who's number three? All time career. Lou Gehrig, 632. And he had a high of 765. 
Who's number four? Well, they say Miu Slatov, six twenty, but not he did not play a thousand games. He played nine hundred nine. 21-year career, but you see a lot of the years, 70, 80 games, 90 games, and it's in the Negro Leagues, and we're not so sure on the stats. They didn't keep good record-keeping. According to Baseball Reference, he has a 620 career. Hmm. They say Turkey Stearns, 616. He was in the Negro Leagues. He had 993 games, but it's in the Negro Leagues, so I'm not going to count it, sorry, because the stats are in question. And Oscar Charlton is another one. So, so far, I have Babe Ruth, Lou Gehr Ted Williams, Lou Gehrig, those three guys, over 600, career. Here's another guy, Jimmy Fox. 610 career and his high was 749 for a season. And the last guy in the Hall of Fame with 600 or better career slugging percentage, Hank Greenberg, 605. And his high was 684. Anybody else career 600 or better? Baseball history. At a thousand games. One other guy, Barry Bonds, 610 career, but he's not in the Hall of Fame. So, how many guys, here's the question how many guys career 600 or better slugging in the Hall of Fame? Babe Ruth. 690. Ted Williams, 634. Lou Gehrig, 632. Jimmy Fox, 610. And Hank Greenberg, 605. And the other guy with a thousand games or more is Barry Bonds, 610. How about that? Very few guys in baseball history of the 20,000 guys who have base played baseball and the 150 years of baseball since 1871 to about 2021, 150, 2022 would be 152 years. And this is the 153rd year of record keeping. Only one, two, three, four, five guys in the Baseball Hall of Fame, 600 or better. And one other guy in baseball history, Barry Bonds. 600 or better. Now, in the Negro Leagues, you have one, two, only three guys, 600 or better. Mule Settles, Turkey Stearns, Oscar Charlton. Where's Josh Gibson in there? Let's look here, career, single season, Josh Gibson. Career. They say his slugging for his career was 718. Career. Problem is, there's only 600 games. So let me just recap. Let me just prove something to you guys. Career slugging percentage, five guys over 600. And about five guys over 600 in the Negro Leagues. Career slugging out of 20,000 guys who have played baseball. Incredible. Now, the
the other the other thing I want to point out. Only two guys have slugged over 800 in a single season with a minimum of over 100 games played. Babe Ruth and Barry Bonds. One is in the Hall of Fame and the other one is not. How many guys have slugged over 700 in a season? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Only 10 other guys have slugged over 700 who are in the Baseball Hall of Fame in a single season. Only 10 others. Ted Williams, 735. Lou Gehrig, 765. Jimmy Fox, 749. Rogers Hornsby, 756. Larry Walker, 720. Stan Musial, 702. Mickey Mantle, 705. Frank Thomas, 730. And Hack Wilson, 723. And Jeff Bagwell, 750. Those are the only other guys in the Baseball Hall of Fame who have slugged over 700 in a season. See how rare it is to slug at a high rate? Very rare. Now, Babe Ruth's number one career, 690. Ted Williams, 634. Lou Gehrig, 632. Jimmy Fox, 610. 609. Hank Greenberg, 605. Now, I'm going to rank 169 players. Focusing on 168 of them are in the Hall of Fame, and then I'll add Pete Rose in the slugging because he deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. Six on the list is Joe DiMaggio. He starts a series of players who have slugged over 500 career. 579 for DiMaggio, 577 for Hornsby, 565 for Walker, Joe Larry Walker. This is career slugging. Johnny Mize, 562. Stan Musial, 559. Mickey Mantle, 557. Willie Mays, 557. Let me do this. As I rank them, I'll, I'll, I'll list their career slugging and then their high for a season, okay? Would that be fair? Babe Ruth, 690. 847 is high. Ted Williams, 634. 735 is high. Lou Gehrig, 632. 765 is high. Jimmy Fox, 609, 749 is high. Hank Greenberg, 605 career, 684 his high. Joe DiMaggio, 670, no, 579 career, and he had a 673 as his high. Roger Hornsby, 577, 756 his high. Larry Walker, 565, 720 his high. Johnny Mize, 562, 636 his high. Stan Musial, 559, 702 his high. Mickey Mantle, 557, 705 his high. Willie Mays, 557, 667 his high. Henry Aaron, 555, 669 his high. Frank Thomas, 555, 730 his high. Jim Tomey, 554, 667 his high. Vladimir Guerrero, 553, 664 his high. David Ortiz, 552, 636 his high. Ralph Kiner, 548, 658 his high. Hack Wilson. 545, 723 is high. Chuck Klein, 543, 687 is high. Jeff Bagwell, 540, 750 is high. I got to stop at, 
at Jeff Bagwell. Why? Because according to my record keeping, Babe Ruth had two 800s, 800 or better. As going to this ranking of 169, Babe Ruth is the only guy with 800 or better. And he did it twice. Shows you how great he was, how great a player he was. Now, those who have done 700 or better, there's only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 other guys, 700 or better in a season. Who are they? Ted Williams, three. He did it three times, seven or better, 700 or better. Larry Walker, two times he did it. Get Lou Gehrig, three times, 700 or better. Jimmy Fox, three times, 700 or better. Roger Hornsby, two times, 700 or better. Stan Musial, one. Mickey Mantle, one. Mac Wilson, one. Jeff Bagwell, one. Al Simmons. He had a 708. So 23 on the list. Duke Schneider, 540, 647 is high. Ken Griffey, 538, 674 his high. Frank Robinson, 537, 637 his high. Earl Alvaro, 534, 627 his high. Noah, 533, 635 his high. Willie Stargell, 529. 646, his high. Chipper Jones, 529 career, 633, his high. Mike Schmidt, 527, 644, his high. Chick Appy, 526, 652, his high. Al Simmons, 525. He's the other guy in the list, 708, his high. So just a very select few have had 700 or better. Dan Brothers, 520, 581 is high. Harry Heilman, 520, 632 is high. Willie McCovey, 515, 656 is high. Edgar Martinez, 515, 628 is high. How about this guy, 37th on the list, Ty Cobb. 512 career slugging, 620 his high. I think if you're over 500 career slugging, that's very good. Eddie Matthews, 509, 627 is high. Harmon Killebrews, 509, 606 his high. Fred McGriff, 509, 623 is high. Bill Terry, 506. 619 is high. Sam Thompson, 505. Joe Medrick, okay. Dan Thompson, 505. 696 is high. Just missed out on 700 for a season. Joe Medwick, 505. 641 is high. Ed Delante, 505. 631 is high. Jim Rice, 502. 600 is high. Goose Goslin, 500. 614 is high. Jim Botany, 500. 628 is high. Ernie Banks, 500. 614 is high. And Tris Speaker, 500. 614 is high. And that's the last guy in the Baseball Hall of Fame, 500 or higher. The rest of the guys in the ranking are below 500 career slugging. I think that would be a goal, wouldn't it? So there's a lot of guys in the 500s, but there's a select few, 600 or better. And it's Babe Ruth, Ted Williams, Lou Gehrig, Jimmy Fox, and Hank Greenberg. Those are the top five sluggers of all time because of their career. They maintain 600 or better slugging. And then the rest of these guys that I've covered are 500 or better. So you get, let's see, you get it all the way down to 49. So you have 44 other guys, 500 or better. Five, 600 or better. And 44 more, 500 or better. The rest of the guys are in the 400s. So we'll do the ranking. We'll go all the way down to the 169 ball players I want to cover. And 168 of them.
are in the Hall of Fame. That is slugging percentage. Amazing. Thanks for watching Baseball Records. I'm out.